We're happy to announce the release of TwinStar High Availability for complete PBX phone systems starting version 509. A few words about TwinStar and how it works. TwinStar is a high availability solution for organizations that cannot afford downtime. It's comprised of two servers, server A and server B, both connected to the uh, local area network or VPN and synchronized between them so that any change made on server A will be replicated on server B and any information kept on server A will be kept also on server B. Each of the servers is capable of driving the entire system by itself. SIP trunks will be connected through the internet and SIP devices will be connected through the internet or the local area network. In case you want to work with PSTN, analog or digital lines, or you want to work with analog or digital devices, then you will need to connect Astribanks, which are USB gateways connected to both servers and physically connected to the relevant devices. In normal state, server A will be the master and will drive the entire communications and server B will monitor server A and synchronize with any changes that happen in server A. In case server A goes down, all communication with server A stops, synchronization stops, and server B will take over all communications and basically continue to provide the organization with all their communication requirements. In case server A comes back to life, the system automatically goes back to a normal mode where server A will now be the slave or the backup server and server B will continue to function as the main PBX with synchronization taking place. There is no need to jump the server back. Let's see how it looks in a real complete PBX5 system. So here we have a live complete PBX5 TwinStar system. You can see that we have this new TwinStar segment under admin. And here we have a TwinStar status page. The main thing I will see in the TwinStar status page is cluster OK. That's the most important thing. If it's green and I see cluster OK, it means everything is OK. All the rest is more detailed information. It shows me what's okay or not okay. So the status can be either green, which means cluster okay, yellow, which is transition in transition mode, and red, which means that there is a problem with the cluster. Red doesn't mean that your system is not functioning. For example, if I have one server down, it will be red, but my system will function normally. I can make phone calls. I can receive phone calls. Everything works fine. Cluster information, here we have general cluster information, connection between the two servers and synchronization between the two servers. And here we have cluster IP. Cluster IP is the floating IP that's used to connect to the uh, master server at any time. So you can see here, I'm connected to the cluster IP and it will take me to the, uh, to the master server, to the active server at any point of time. Below we have services, so we can see which services are active. They should all be active. And then server specific information. So here I have server A and server B. These are actually the host names. So if you change the host name, you will see the uh, changed host name here. We call them server A and server B. Below we can see the roles, functions, and attributes of each server. So we can see that server A is the master and server B is the slave. License okay on both. That's TwinStar license, should be okay. Here we have IP information and DRBD information. This is used more for troubleshooting. I can very easily copy and paste this information in case there is a need. And here we have Astribank information. We can see two Astribanks are connected to server A and no Astribanks are connected to server B which is a healthy uh, situation. Of course, physically they are connected to server B, but they are not 
managed by server B at this point of time. In case any Astribanks are connected to server B, it's a problem and we will get a red warning here because all Astribanks should be driven, should be managed by the active server. So this is how the uh, good and healthy situation looks. Now let's see how it looks when there is a problem. So what we see now is the same system. On the right hand side, we've opened terminal to server A. Now let's disconnect the two units, stop synchronization. We will force stop it. And we will now see DRBD failure and of course cluster problem. Once we reconnect it, everything will be back to normal and we'll get cluster OK and DRBD OK. Now let's see what happens in a real failure situation and how failover works. To demonstrate it, I will power off server A, which is currently the master server, the active server. And we'll see that uh, for momentarily the uh, GUI will disconnect. But remember, we are connected to the cluster IP. So uh, after a very short while, we'll be able to reconnect to the same IP address, just refresh. And uh, we'll be actually connected to server B, which will assume the role of master. So let's power off server A. Okay, server A is powered off. We will see that the GUI is not responsive. And here it is back again. You can see the system is active. I can actually uh, make calls right now, receive calls, do everything. And let's see the twin start status that may take a moment. Uh, but do take into account that right now my PBX is active. So I'm only waiting to get the indications, but the system is up and running and everything is okay. Once we get the indications, we should be able to see that server B is master and server A is down. And here it is. We see cluster problem. Okay, again, cluster problem doesn't mean that the system doesn't work, the phone system. It means that something has a problem within the cluster, within Twinstar. Of course, the problem is that server A is unreachable. You can see that server B assumed the role of master. We can also see in DRBD information that we have primary unknown, which means uh, the other server is unreachable and that we have two Astrobanks connected now to server B. We can also see connection failure and the RBD failure, which means the uh, two units, of course, are not connected and not synchronized. And all the services are active because they're running on server B, which is now the master. Now we will turn on server A. And as you remember, it will uh, come back to life, reconnect to the system, but assume the role of the secondary server, the, uh, the slave, and synchronize itself from server B. Okay, so now server A is booting and in a moment we'll be able to see it in the GUI and the system will be back to normal situation, cluster OK status. And here it is, cluster OK. Note that connection is OK, but we're still synchronizing. In a moment, it will be synchronized. Okay, synchronization is done. So now uh, the RBD status is okay. You can also see that we have server A back here as slave. Astribanks are not connected to it. Of course, physically, the Astribanks are connected to both servers, but they're managed by server B, and server B is a master. At this point, we don't have to do anything. The system is up and running as a full high availability system. Just for demonstration purposes, I will now uh, make the system jump back to show you how it looks and make server A the uh, primary server again. So I logged into server A and I will run twin star 
CTL takeover. And now server A started the process of taking over server B. In a moment, we'll see in transition mode, and then the servers will uh, switch locations and complete the uh, synchronization. Now we see in transition, and we see some of the services are down. This is temporary. In a moment, we'll see a cluster back to normal cluster OK status. You can see the uh, services coming up one by one. And now the last service is up, cluster OK. And we see that server A is now the master, server B is the slave, Astribanks managed by server A, and we're back to the original situation. That was a short overview of Twinstar high availability on Complete PBX 5. I hope you found it useful. There is more information on our website and YouTube channel. Thank you very much.